Today, we're gonna to be making a fixture to turn these laser cut blanks into these carabiners. This was my fixture for the first batch of prototypes. We're gonna be repurposing this for our new production fixture. I've spent the last 20 minutes or so making sure everything was set up and I think we're good to go. That could have been bad. Okay, that's done and it looks fantastic. When I was first prototyping these carabiners, I was using stock that looked like this. This piece of stock cost me $18 and took about 45 minutes to make two carabiners. Since then, I've changed strategies. I've gone from three ops to two ops. These only cost me about six bucks each and my machining time has gone down from 45 minutes to about 10 minutes. Starting with these laser cut blanks is just so much more economical in every possible way. The true hero of this story is Send Cut Send. I've used Send Cut Send for years, long before they sponsored Design the Everything. They have saved me so much time and money. And if you would like to save some time and money, I have a coupon code for you. It's on screen here and in the description. That'll save you 15% off at Send Cut Send. And it'll tell them that I sent you so that they keep giving me free laser cutting credit. All right, let's take a look at the finished product. So the next step is to get these pockets dialed in. I originally cut them a little bit undersized so I could sneak up on the dimension I need, and you can see that one doesn't fit there. Huh, that one fits there. That's interesting. This is where they're mirrored onto the other side. I would be willing to bet that the laser cut parts have just a little bit of taper on there, which is why they fit on one side, but not on the other. But in the future, these could be nested either way when they laser cut them, so I need to make sure they fit in both orientations. So I'm just gonna take a thou or two off the wall of my fixture. All right, that seems to have done it. Let's see what it looks like with these clamps on here. So I didn't make the threaded holes for the clamps deep enough and the screws are bottoming out instead of clamping all the way down. I chose to bore these holes instead of drilling them because I didn't have the right drill bit on hand. So I just bored them with the same tool that I used to make the fixture. The problem is that this hole is in the bottom of a pocket. So even though I have enough flute length to cut the hole, I didn't have enough clearance with my current setup to be able to get all the way down. All I need to do to fix this is to change my code and stick the tool out about an eighth of an inch more. All right, everything fits, everything clamps, it looks good. The next step is to make two of these little spacers. We need these spacers to support the thin walls of the carabiners during machining, especially here under the clamp. When they're done, they're just gonna press fit into the slot in the bottom of the fixture. So I cut that one really close. I almost hit my vice jaws. Our little inserts are free. Let's see if they fit. They might be a little bit loose, but they seem to work. Just one thing left. I am leaving my day job in almost exactly one month. My plan is that this Kickstarter with these carabiners will be the like the foundation, the launching pad for me being able to go full-time design the everything. Right now, design the everything is not particularly profitable. So I'm banking a lot on this Kickstarter to give me some runway as I get started here. Also, I'm starting to think about launching a Patreon. I don't know what that's gonna look like yet or how much interest there's going to be. I do plan on making more videos when I go full-time and having something to kind of compensate me for my time 
would really be helpful as well as having a steady, reliable income as I quit my job, uh, which is terrifying in case you're wondering. Anyway, I haven't made a decision about the Patreon yet, but if that's something that you might be interested, leave a comment or send me a message and tell me what you would like to see. 